Hey guys, it's the Coincidence Dreamer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with Mars. I also wanted to let you know that I just reached 28,000 subscribers and I really, really appreciate all of you for subscribing to our channel. So thank you very much for doing that. Today I'm going to continue doing a video with Mars, but this time I want to start looking into the package manager and look at the Mars examples that they're including. The reason for that is because there's a really cool mini game in there. There's a simple game and also an advanced game. I'm going to be looking at a simple game and seeing how that works with the Mars application. I'm also going to show you additional components that are available in the package. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at it. All right, guys. So let me show you additional options that I found by playing around with Mars. So we're going to go into Window, Mars, Mars Panel, and we're going to be just basically docking that on the left. So in the previous video, I was using the hierarchy and we could, you know, right click here go to Mars and then you know select whatever option I want to select, like a data visualizer. In my case, I did a plane visualizer and also a point cloud visualizer. But let's say that we, we want to do that through the menu. So I could just remove these two. And I can go in here and you can see that we have presets, we have primitives, we also have visualizer. So I can just click the plane visualizer menu. It's going to do the same thing that I did when we did the right click. And I can also add the point cloud visualizer. I can, in this case, I can just hit play and see if everything is working. It should work the same way because it's basically just doing the same thing behind the scenes. So you can see that the points are getting, you know, getting generated. We also have a few planes in there. This is really cool here too, because it not only shows me the information on the hierarchy here, but it also, you know, it's all within that panel. So if I want to look at the session, I can look at the session. If I want to look at anything related to Mars, I can just concentrate in here. This also gives me an environment hierarchy so that I you know, understand, I can see basically what the room that is getting generated. So in this case, this is a living room 20 by 18. So I can look at the clipping region, the sun, the environment, the furniture. So basically anything related to that environment, it's all in this hierarchy. Where in here, everything is just you know, all together. So it's easier to see this way, you can also look at, you know, you can also look at it from the hierarchy if you wanted to. But in this case, I think it's more organized. So another thing that I also wanted to show you is if we go back to the device view, one thing that I didn't know, let's say in, in the previous video, I kept on going into Mars and then selecting one of these views and it kept on changing the view. So one thing that I found out is you can, so if I close, let me close this one and I can show you what I mean. I'm also gonna close this. So what I can also do is I can right click in here, go into Mars, and then I can click on the Mars panel here, or I can click on the simulation view. In this case, I have the simulation view open. So that does not make sense. But if I wanted to have the device view, which is going to look at the view as if you were running from an actual device, I can you know, have that view as well as the simulation view in the same, basically all running at once. I can also click on Mars. And then if I want to look at the database viewer, which has all the different information about all the simulation data. I can also have that there. And if I want to go back in here and look at the simulation test runner, I can also snap it there. In my case, I want to keep it on the bottom because I think that view is important. So let's say that I wanted to run the simulation environments. I can do that here. You can see how things are getting changed on the left side. Environment is changing. If we didn't have this panel, it would be really hard to see. I mean, you can see these, but this gives you, gives you a lot more information about it. So other things that we can also do here, if I wanted to change the environment as well, I can go in here instead of actually using this toolbar. I can also record from here, I can hit play. So one thing that I didn't show you before is how we can record and how we can actually play those simulations. So I'm gonna try that, I haven't done it yet, so let's try it. Let's see that we have, we have this room right here, right? And we have a simulation. If I hit play right now, it's going to show us that, let's see, let's just wait. It's going to show us this and but we don't have any items in there yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my window here, Mars, I'm going to choose a template. And I'm just gonna do, let's go ahead and do tabletop. That way we have at least one item in the simulation. So there we go, we have, you know, we have our box there. I'm gonna run the simulation again. So the box is basically placed in every single one of the rooms that I have. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to play, basically record a simulation and replay and see how that functionality works. So what I'm gonna do in here is I'm gonna go into, I believe I have to go into the device view, which, which I do. That is the reason why this one wasn't enabled before is because I was always in the simulation view. So in this case, I'm going to follow the instruction here. We're gonna hit play, and then we're gonna use the WASD 
to move around. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit play. And we can just, you know, move around. You're going to see everything getting generated. It's going to keep mapping the area and see if we get waiting for my box to show. There we go. So we got, we have our box there. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just stop the recording. It's going to ask me to basically select a, des a designated folder where we're going to be putting those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to just put it under simulations. It needs to be under assets. I tried to put it outside and I got an error. So make sure that it is under assets. Then we're going to go into simulation and I'm going to give it that name. It doesn't really matter. You can probably use a day if you wanted to. In my case, I'm just going to, I'm just going to use that. So now that it's saved, right? So what happens if I click on start on the play simulation? And let's see if this is going to work. I'm just going to go ahead and go back and we can hit play. And we are in the simulation view right now. Let's go into the view here. And I haven't really, oh, there we go. I haven't really done this, so I'm not really familiar with it. So I can click on the bedroom recording, which is the previous one that we did. And this is cool. And we can actually replay this thing. That's, that's amazing. And the reason why I'm so surprised is because this is all new to me. And so this is really cool. We can play your simulations and imagine, you know, having hundreds of rooms that you have your QA testers doing, making sure that it, that everything works. And then that way you don't have to be pushing to the device, pushing to the device, pushing to the device. You can just make sure that the simulation is working by using the tools that Unity provides to you. So, so that's cool. I love it. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to show you how we can use additional templates. And this is something that Unity told me about after I made the first video and I'm really glad that they did. I want to thank them for that because I didn't know this was available. So if you go to package manager and we go to Mars and we click on the, and this is very common to most of the projects. In fact, if I go through some of these projects, you're going to see that there are different examples available. I just didn't, I just didn't notice that when we were installing this Mars package. So this one comes with the sample samples template. So you can click on import. I already downloaded it, so that's why it shows in here. And we can just close out of here. And Unity is providing to you a lot of different demos. And I want to show you one that I thought was pretty cool. And, and it's a really, it's a mini game, pretty much. So if I go to Window and then Mars, and you, get, you can click on Choose Template. Before, we only had the face mask, the blank, tabletop, and miniature. In this case, they have a lot of different examples. I'm going to do multiple videos because if I do all of them, it's going to be too much. So I'm just going to keep the simple one for this video. Then we'll do an advanced and then the factory training. I think that's what this one says. And it looks like I already click on it. So I might already have, let me go ahead and go back here. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go back into my, let's go ahead and go back into Mars. And then we're going to click on choose template. I want to do a simple one. Let's keep things simple. I think this is just, a little robot that is going to be collecting, you know, these little diamond type, you know, assets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this and simulate it in all different environments that I currently have. We're going to run it. We're going to run it. And, and as you can see, it's basically trying to place everything in a, in a very smart way around the environment. So in this case, it plays the robot there. If we go into some of these ones, if we go into, let's go ahead and go into a simulation view because it's going to be easier to see. So we have, you know, some of those diamonds in here. We have diamonds in here. We have the robot in here. And if we go into this other room, or in this case, it's a backyard, let's go into a bedroom. So see, you have a small, a smaller area where we have a robot. The robot is placed on the bed. We have a diamond in here. He knows that he has basically floor area that we can place the diamonds on. So if we go into another one, same, in, same case in here. Instead, instead of placing the robot on the bed, it plays a diamond in there. The robot is here. So really, really, really cool features. So let's go ahead and go. So here we have another a dining room. I'm going to go ahead and check. One that I want to check, let's go ahead and check the factory, right? So we have a factory here. And let me find where is my robot. And I just, the reason why this is going to be hard to find is because there are, it's just a big area, right? But it's really cool. We have diamonds on the top. We have, you know, diamonds on tables. Let's go ahead and go into this other kitchen. We have the robot in there. And so why is this important? It's important because you can start, you know, you create a game and then you have all these simulations that you can test with where before you didn't have this information and you didn't have this. So it was really hard for us to be testing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can test this, right? 
Let's say that we want to test that this game, in our case, we're creating a robot game. It's a really cool game. So let's see how this works. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And we're going to be testing. So I'm just going to go ahead and move you know, forward and start walking around. Let's keep going and let's see if this works. So I, I know that things are getting, there we go. We have our character there. I'm going to start moving around. We have a couple of diamonds. And it's going to keep you know, scanning the area because we are creating planes, creating walls. And this is awesome, right? We have our character. So now we can actually with, so instead of doing right click, which is for moving around the area, I'm going to do left click. So what I'm doing is I'm just moving the character to the target position by holding the, basically the left click on my mouse. And then I'm playing. So that's a simulation. I was able to test it. Things are working well. I know that this works on this environment. So what about, you know what? I want to test in a different environment. I'm going to go ahead and regenerate everything. I'm going to see if I can go to my backyard and see if that's going to work. And in fact, this kind of resembles where I live. I have a big backyard, so I can go into it and, and check it out and see if it's actually going to work. So let's wait until the simulation is done. I think it's done now. I'm going to double click it. And I think I already double click it. I wasn't in the simulation tab, so make sure you are on that tab. And in this case, I'm going to go into my device view again. I could record if I wanted to, but in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and hit play because I want to play the, the experience. It's going to take me to the game view. I'm just going to start scanning. And I don't know if I can run. I wish there was an option to run. And maybe there is. I just don't know the options yet. And this is a pretty long, you know, backyard. Let me see if I can get at least one of the items to show. If not, we're just going to go into a smaller area. And let's see. Let's just keep, if I keep walking towards the wall, there we go. So we got some planes that are getting detected. And let's, I think this is too big. Let's go ahead and select another one. One that is not going to be as big. And what I can do is instead of doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and, yeah, this is a building that's, that's too big. Let's go into our dining or living room in this case. I'm going to hit play. Okay, so here we have our dining room area. I can just, you know, walk around. And let's go ahead and generate as much as we can. See if I can place, I can look at the character. There we go. It's going to go through the chairs as well. Go through those chairs. And there we go. I think it needs a lot more, you know, knowledge about the environment before I can start playing. You can see that our character is right there. So let me go ahead and move back so we can see the character. So I'm going to move it. And I think, there we go, so he jumped. That's awesome. And so he knows that there was a gap in here, and that is because there's a ray cast that is happening behind the scenes. So I'm going to try, let me see if I can jump into this other area. Perhaps, let me move back. Let's go and jump into the table. And I don't think he likes, there we go, he liked the chair. He just didn't have enough, there we go. I think he's going to like now to jump in that area. If not, we'll just, I think I'm going to call it good. There we go. I think this was a really good example. And if you guys have any questions about anything that I just show you, please let me know in the comments. Just know that I'm going to do more videos about this and I'm really excited about what the developers at Unity created, designers and everybody who worked on this project. So thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video again. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned on the Mars application, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out LearnXR.io where I'm doing VR training right now, but I'm going to be doing upcoming augmented reality training. If you have additional questions, again, let me know. And you can also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting also the projects that I'm doing in the channel, including the source code and also the Unity projects. Thank you very much, guys.